What's that? I have something on my face. Oh. Did I get it? No? Oh, shoot. Shave it up! Clean shaver here. Yes, it is me. Uh, this is just a bud mask. Yeah, first time for everything, I guess. Uh, it is Friday again, and I can hardly move my face because this thing is really stiff and crusty. But uh, I'm doing a review on Sudsy Silvery products, including this mud mask, a char uh, activated charcoal mask. So uh, let's. Uh, let me rinse this thing off because this is just not going to work if I try it otherwise. So hang on just a minute. Whew, that's better. Whew. Wow. Never done that before. Okay, so uh, let's get into the review. So I am actually going to do a shave and review kind of video today. So um, let's get into it. So I am reviewing products from Sudsy Soapery. You can see right there, this in particular, I'm gonna be reviewing the Shave Soap, but I'll talk about some of the other products that we got as well and uh, give you my thoughts on them, but no official review on the other products. Let's go for the soap. Now this one in particular is White Sage and Lime, which was a really interesting thing to me. Um, but uh, before I get too far into that, let's actually talk about who they are. So Sudsy Soapery is located near uh, St. Louis, I believe actually on the Illinois side, but. Uh, located near St. Louis and owned by Jonathan and Casey Cook and uh, give you a little little background here so they reached out to me through my channel a couple weeks ago and said hey uh, we'd love to uh, send you some products so yes I did receive this for free just trying it out letting you know my thoughts uh, they said we'd love to send you some product and let you try it out see what you think all right great I'd actually had experience with their products back in another video that I did, oh, last summer, I think, uh, where I reviewed the Wet Shave Club box, the monthly boxes. And I had their uh, Citrus and Bay shaving soap, which I loved, it was really great. I ended up giving it away as part of that video. Uh, it went with the box, so unfortunately it didn't stick around in my den, which I was a little bit bummed about. But, uh, and then I also got to try their Sandalwood and Bay. I believe that was one. citrus and sandalwood, sandalwood and bay, one of those two. Anyway, uh, one of their bar soaps and my wife really liked that. So uh, they reached out and they said, hey, we'd like to uh, have you try some of our stuff. Shaving with the Razor Rock Hawk, by the way. Um, and I said, of course, you know, tried your stuff before and really liked it, but would like to try some, maybe try some different stuff as well. And so they, uh, said, great, what can we send you? At that point, I said, you know what? I kind of have my likes and my dislikes. I, I know what I generally like or don't like. So I'll tell you what, I, what I'm interested in, what products, but I'll let you pick the scents. So they ended up sending me the shaving soap, the white sage and lime shaving soap, as well as a beard oil, which I'll get to in a, and all these other products I'll get to in a minute, as well as a beard oil, a post-shave balm, a aftershave splash uh, and the mud mask that you saw earlier as well as a deodorant cream so we'll get to those in a little bit now as usual links to all these products can be found in the description down below so check those out there but uh, let's talk about the actual soap I apologize for the noise in my sink while it's filling up let's talk about the actual soap so white sage and lime this shaving soap excuse me there we go oh no that's upside down there we go white shave white sage and lime shave soap um, if any of you have watched my shaving soap review videos, I grade on four things, which are the lather, the quality of the lather, post-shave feel, the scent, and the value. So let's get into the lather. As you can see, I spend very little time actually loading the brush and actually building the lather. It lathers incredibly easily, uh, very, very well. In fact, I've really enjoyed using it because it's so quick and so easy to lather. and. Uh, whether I use a synthetic, a badger, a bore, it doesn't matter. It lathers great. So there's that. Uh, good cushion, good glide. As you can see, really good stuff. 
So on the latter, I give it a 9.5 because quite honestly, I don't know that I've had, if I've had a better, better lather out there, it's by such a marginal amount that I don't know that it matters. So as far as the lather quality is concerned, wow, yeah, great. Okay, third pass here, and we'll do the cheeks. And as you can tell, yeah, great. I add just a little bit more water to it. A nice thing about this soap as well, it, in regards to the lather quality, is that it's very tolerant of water. You can, uh, it's, it does reach a saturation point where it will break down, but it's very tolerant of water. So you, you can work it as thick or as thin as you want, and it's really very easy to do so. I really like that about this soap. Now, the post-shave feel, also very, very good. I give it a 9.5 as well. Now, before you sit here and think, oh, he's just saying it because he got the products for free. No, no, it's not. Usually, especially in the winter with any shaving soap, generally I have to use an aftershave balm just because my skin is so dry. And this, the I think the first time I used the, the shave soap, I did use the aftershave balm, but since then, Nope, oh, haven't needed it. I really haven't. And that, to me, indicates a great post shave feel. So neck and cheeks are done. Let's go to the head. And let's talk about this scent. Now this scent, I was actually a little bit nervous about it. And I'll tell you why. So white sage and lime, you think about that and you're like, Sage, why? And I'm generally not a huge fan of earthy scents, but it sounded so interesting that I was like, you know what? I gotta give it a shot. So I did, and it was the first one that I, I, I looked through all the soaps that, and they said, you know, you can try any of them that you like. And I knew I liked the citrus and bay. I was like, you know what? I need to try something different. So I went with the lime, white sage and lime. And I'm so glad I did, man. This stuff, it's, it is a little bit earthy, but it's so well balanced that it doesn't come off that way. It doesn't come off offensive to my nose, which was really surprising to me. And at first smell, I was like, Ooh, whoa, whoa, what am I smelling? But after I did, after I spent some time with it, oh man, it's so relaxing. If any of you are nighttime shavers uh, and do this as a routine to wind down before bed, like I do at times. This is a great choice. Um, another one I might recommend from them would be based on the scent of the other products that I have, their uh, lavender and peppermint is also very relaxing. Now, those of you that are paying attention, yes, I do have a different handle on this razor. It's not the original handle, but I am a big fan of this scent. I really, really enjoy it. And so for that reason, I gave it a nine. I think it could be improved on, upon a little bit. And I think I might like the strength, the scent strength to be up just a little bit. So I had to knock it down a little, but the actual scent itself, man, I really like it. And it's funny, I was talking to Jonathan, the owner on the phone, and, uh, and he said the white sage and lime is actually his favorite scent as well. And it's really, really good. I can, I can totally see why. It's a really interesting scent I'd encourage any of you who are curious about it, give it a shot. It is a very natural smelling soap, but man, it's really good. Now, let's talk about value. So value, generally we're talking about the price per ounce kind of a thing. Uh, so this sells for $15, $14.95, and it's five and a half ounces of soap, which is, uh, it's, you know, just under $3 an ounce then. So if, if any of you are good at math, it's just under $3 an ounce. So it is moderately priced. I'm not going to say it's cheap, but it's not expensive either. It's very reasonably priced, I think. And so for that reason, I gave it a nine. It is a good value. Um, the only problem I really have with the soap is the Label is not waterproof. That's one thing I wish I could change because let's face it. I'm a head shaver. I don't shave dry 
when I rinse, stuff splashes. So this, it's gonna get wet and I hate to have the label ruined. It's a nitpicky kind of thing, but I, I would like it if the, water, if the label was waterproof. Let's rinse off and talk about some of the other products. Actually, as I was rinsing off, I realized I need to talk about some of the other qualities of the soap. So it is a relatively soft soap. You can see I'm making finger indentation there. So it's not hard. Uh, it is a pretty soft soap, but I have no doubt that it would last you a good long time. Yeah, the scent is just, oh, it's lovely. I'm, I'm a big fan. I really like this. So that's the white sage and lime shave soap. Uh, overall, that comes to a score of 37 out of 40, which is 92.5% or an A minus. So a good soap. Uh, I would definitely recommend it to any of you that are curious about it. I would uh, absolutely check it out. And again, a link to it down in the description. Let's talk about some of the other products. So the face mask, you saw that at the beginning of the video. Once again, not a waterproof label. Comes in a little cup, needs to be refrigerated once it's opened, but, and, and it's fun. I mean, this, this is the first time I've tried a face mask, so I really have no frame of reference as to its quality, but it feels good. It, uh, my skin was nice and tight. I will say that. <laughs> it felt, it felt kind of funny. Uh, felt good, but in a kind of funny kind of way. But if you, find value in that, might be something for you to try. Um, one of the surprises for me actually was the deodorant, the deodorant cream. And it's a pretty hard little puck. Uh, I mean, really if I push into it, I can make a little bit of an indent, but really it's just my, the heat of my body melting the product. That's what's making the indent. It is a very hard puck and it's it goes on very easily. It's a little bit, takes a little getting used to because you rub your fingers in there and then put it wherever you're wanting to apply it. So it's uh, it works. I really, really like this actually. Um, I had my doubts about it, but I'm enjoying it. I really do like it. And man, this, I'm sure this thing will last me a long time. So kudos on that. Now, the beard oil. Mm, this one they sent me, it was a patchouli blend. And once again, I'm generally not a huge fan of earthy scents, but this is fantastic. Uh, patchouli is one of those scents that is, it goes overboard really, really easily, but this doesn't. Uh, it's a blend of patchouli, spearmint, and cedarwood, if I'm not mistaken, and it is just wonderful. I mean, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but this, the mint comes in and helps compensate for the earthiness of the patchouli, and I really like it. And it feels very good on the beard. Um, very smooth, goes on very nicely, feels very hydrated and, and nice to, to use. I High marks for me on that one. And then a couple of last ones, uh, the first being the aftershave balm or aftershave lotion. Yeah, aftershave balm, excuse me, creamy aftershave balm. That's lavender and peppermint. Very nice scent, very good feel to it. Uh, it's a little bit, li oh, yeah, see, it's a little bit uh, liquidy. So you have to be careful with that. It might just be, uh, the, the warmth of the room that I'm in right now cause it to separate a little bit, but uh, a good feel to it and uh, you don't need much. It goes on very well um, and does a great job of hydrating. Not that you need it necessarily because the soap already does a good job. And then last but not least, they also sent a sample of their uh, lavender and peppermint aftershave splash, which is also very nice, uh, smells very good. I don't know that it's anything remarkable, but it does match the scent. Uh, it complements the uh, the white sage and lime and a very relaxing scent. So definitely something for you nighttime shavers that could be good for uh, for getting ready for bed. So there's that. Those are the products that I got to try and really I did enjoy them quite a lot. Uh, I'm definitely a fan. Uh, if any of you have not tried the Sudsy Soapery, I recommend that you check them out. And something special for you actually, because I enjoyed the products so much, I talked with uh, Jonathan and Casey and just said, hey, I wanna do something with you guys and make this kind of fun. So um, we've worked out a little system. Uh, generally, I would do some kind of promotion where I have them send me some extra product and we do a giveaway through comments on the, on the video. But we decided to do a little tweak on that and here's what we're gonna do. So on their website, on three different products, they have hidden this logo. Now, it might be small and a little bit faded, so you're gonna to have to look closely. I recommend doing it on a PC or a desktop computer. Not on, it might be a little hard on a mobile device. But uh, if you go and search their website, scan through some of their products, and look for the 
the Clean Shaver logo on them. Then, if you send the link for that page to Jonathan at this email address, then they will give you a 20% discount on any order that you place in the month of February 2017. So uh, today is the third, so you have 25 days to take advantage of that. Take a look at their products, and I will say that it's not just shaving stuff. Uh, they have a lot of products for men, for women, uh, overall body, they have candles, they have uh, scrubs, they have masks, they have shave soaps, they have all kinds of stuff. So check them out. They've got a lot of really cool products and I'm sure if these products are any indication that they're all worth taking a look at. So um, if, you, if you send the link for that page that you found the image on, then Jonathan will send you a unique link that can only be used once that will get you 20% off your order. So make sure to check them out. And uh, I'll put links to all the products down in the description below. Make sure that you, if you haven't already, uh, make sure that you hit uh, subscribe on my channel and hit that little bell button that will notify you anytime I post a new video. I truly appreciate your support. If, uh, you can find me on all of my uh, social media outlets on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google+, VoiceBite, Snapchat, Kick. They're all down in the description as well. And uh, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and check out Sudsy Soapery. And I uh, hope you're all having a great February and be smooth and shave it up. We'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks for watching.